Hey everyone, Dave coming to you again with five simple tips to help keep your FL Studio project clean and organized. Tip number one, save to new project folder. This option will allow you to contain all project files such as audio samples and backups within a designated project folder instead of the default FL Studio directory. Simply go to File, Save to New Project Folder. From here, I can create and name my new project folder. I like to set this option up at the start of every project for good housekeeping. This is particularly advantageous when cataloging projects, as well as when backing up projects to the cloud. Tip number two, setting playlist markers. These little guys are helpful in keeping visual track of your project by section, such as verse and chorus, which you can then use to jump to any designated marker with a single click. Additionally, playlist markers can be used to set time signature changes. To create a playlist marker, press Alt T anywhere in your project timeline. I'll name this marker Chorus. To move a playlist marker, just hover over the left side of the marker and click and drag to the new location. Tip number three, channel grouping. This is a good housekeeping option to allow you to group channels and audio clips within designated categories. Simply select the channels or audio groups you want to group, hit channel options and group selected. Here I've selected and grouped my recorded guitar audio clips into a single group. Another here for my vocals. Tip number four, color coding and organizing mixer tracks. By color coding my mixer tracks, I'm able to categorically identify where my track fits within my project. Here I have my drums, bass guitar, rhythm and lead guitars colored sectionally. If I'm ever in need of inserting a track into an existing section, I can do so by selecting an unused track, holding the Alt key, and pressing the left or right keys to move it into place. I can even move entire sections by holding the control key, selecting the desired section, holding Alt, and pressing the right or left key. Lastly, tip number five, purging unused audio clips. This option is useful for keeping your list of audio clips in control, as well as minimizing your project's impact on available memory. Simply navigate to Tools, Macros, Purge Unused Audio Clips. Notice my memory utilization decrease when I purge several unused clips. This option will clear the clips from memory, but their actual files will still be present within the designated audio folder for emergency retrieval during the project session. Similarly, you can also select and delete unused channels by clicking Tools, Macros, select Unused Channels. With the unused channels now selected, I can click Channel Options and Delete Selected. I hope you found these tips useful and can put them to use within your next project. A clean and organized project can go a long way in aiding your creative process. If you enjoyed this video and would love to learn more on the subject of production within FL Studio, feel free to like, subscribe, and drop any useful tips you have in the comments section. I'd be happy to hear from you. Take care.